Hello everyone, welcome back to Building My Dream Zoo in Minecraft. So, I've just been doing a little bit of things around the zoo here. Like, I put in these stairs, they were just the stone brick stairs, um, but I made it match this because now we have the chisel and bits. And then I also started to plan out our next habitat. Um, by the way, I'm still not sure about this. I kind of like this color, but it is pretty bright and kind of in your face, so it might be too much. Um, but I still haven't quite figured out anything else to do, so I'm still thinking about the pathing situation. But, I've decided that we're going to put our next habitat over here. Um, and I will fix up this dirt wall as well, because I know it looks pretty ugly. Um, but I want to put something in this small habitat here. And, uh, what I decided on was Galapagos tortoises. And we actually do have a couple already, so I basically just need to get this all ready for them. The problem is, I wanted to use some palm wood and have like a palm tree in here because I think that would suit them pretty well um, because they are island animals and I just think that would work pretty nice for them. Um, but as you can see, we have barely any wood and no saplings for them. So I'm going to have to go out and get some. I've been putting it off for a while because they seem to not drop too many saplings. Um, but I'm going to test it out. I do have a Fortune 3 axe, so I'm going to see if that works on the leaves or not. I think in newer versions it does, but I'm in 1.12.2, so I don't think it does. Um, but I don't think it can hurt to try it out. Alright, so I'm pretty much ready to go here. Um, but I actually figure I'm going to wait till um, it's nighttime and we'll sleep one more time. Um, but I just remembered that I also wanted to mention that um, next episode is going to be episode 25. And so this is the longest series on my channel so far. Um, and it's one of my favorites, of course, because I love the zoo, I love the animals. And what I was thinking is maybe of making it kind of like a special episode and do like a whole tour around the zoo, especially because I want to try to update some of our older habitats, like the zebras here. It's pretty plain. Um, this was like my first one, and they didn't really have a lot of resources and a lot of building experience and stuff. So I want to try to fix up some of the habitats, add some chisel and bit stuff to them as well. Um, but then do like a tour and show you guys all the animals that we have and maybe share like one or two facts about each one, like maybe my favorite fact or something. Um, but yeah, so if you have any opinion on that, let me know, but that's what I'm thinking about doing because I think it would be pretty fun and I know that some of you may not have seen all of our habitats before, so it could be cool just to let you guys see what we've got um, in case you missed it. Um, but as you can see, we're heading out. Um, I'm going to try to find some palm trees out in the wild here. And if I find anything cool, I'll let you know, but otherwise I'm just going to collect some stuff, um, and I'll meet you back at the zoo. There's a mushroom in this palm tree. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Ooh. All these noises scare me. I was thinking an animal's going to attack me. Doesn't seem like there's anything too dangerous around here. Lots and lots of giraffes. Yeah, these are different desert plants. Oh, this is so perfect. Oh, a rhino. Hi, buddy. Uh, would you like to come home with us? I just want to get you out of there. Okay, good. Can't get out. Oh, man. I forgot how to use this thing. Oh, just let go and it shoots. Okay. Oh, he can't be trying because he's in there. Can I... Oh, I don't have any blocks. Honestly, this quicksand is so frustrating, but also that's really interesting how it sinks like that. I've never actually looked at this so closely. You were so close to being out of there, buddy. Oh my god, you almost killed me. Not really. <laughs> Okay, 
can I silk touch it? Oh, I can. Okay. So weird. Hmm. Okay. Well, I thought that the fortune was working, but that tree I didn't get any. So I basically got four saplings for three trees. Let's see if we get any from this tree. Those are not good odds. Oh, we got one. So five saplings from four trees so far. Alright guys, I'm not really sure about this. Um, I like the scheme that I have with, um, this is mangrove and then jungle planks, but in order to have the path here even like relatively wide enough, it seems like it takes up too much space. This habitat is pretty small. Let me just sleep really quick. Um, so really quick, um, I caught a couple, we have three, um, but I just want to let it out since I don't think it can run away and I don't think it'll attack me. Um, but I just want to see how big these guys are. Oh, they are pretty big, aren't they? Um, hmm. Maybe we could take some more of that space, actually. Alright, I'm going to put you back in here. Alright, I'm going to see if I can make this a bit bigger for them. This wall is the beaver habitat, so... We can't do anything going this way. So I'm pretty sure this guy's still in here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you were asleep. Uh, but yeah, so I opened this corner up a bit more. Uh, so I think that this might be big enough. So this is going to be our little oasis spot. Um, I do need to figure out... I think we need more sand. Um, I also brought dried sand. So I want to try some of this. Okay, so I did actually um, install the replay mod finally. I wanted to try it out for so long. Um, but then I just started building this without actually hitting record on that. Because I, I wanted to see if I could do a habitat and kind of do like a time lapse. Um, so I will see. Maybe we'll try to do something with the replay mod soon. If not, I think next episode I'll try it out. Um, I did kind of test and see how it worked a little bit, but I'm still very new at it, so I don't know how well it will work. Alright everybody, so this is Brie from editing. I'm just doing a bit of a voiceover here. And I figured while I'm doing the chisel and bits part of this habitat, I might give you guys some uh, Galapagos tortoise facts. Also, sorry if you heard my cat in the background, but I think I'm going to keep it in. Anyway, back to the tortoises. So the funniest fact that I found is actually that Galapago means tortoise in Spanish. Now, that kind of thing happens all the time with like languages and translations, so it's not surprising, but I just kind of find it funny that it's basically just tortoise tortoise. But these tortoises are pretty cool. Even in the wild, they can live over 100 years, and in captivity, some have lived up to 175 years. That's crazy. And these guys are also the biggest tortoises in the world that are currently alive. They can be over 900 pounds. But the thing is with these guys is there's actually 12 living species and they think that there are at least three extinct ones as well. This is because different populations live on different islands in the Galapagos and that has caused them to evolve just slightly differently making them distinct. But what I find really interesting is how they think that they got to the island in the first place. So it's not really sure but um, people believe that these guys came from South America and basically floated across the water to the islands. Now, because they're tortoises, they are not good swimmers, but they are able to keep their head above water and they float pretty well. And, uh, when needed, they can live without eating for months at a time. So, theoretically, they could have gone from the continent and just floated to the islands and they could have survived perfectly fine. And this would have had to have happened within the last 5 million years, because that's when the first Galapagos Island started to form. And there's been no land bridge that connected it to the continent, so they couldn't have crossed that way. Alright, so now I'm getting some plants and stuff into the habitat, but I do have a couple more facts for you. One of my absolute favorites is actually something that I learned in my zoology class a few months ago. 
This is something that happens in some reptiles and it includes the Galapagos tortoise. So while the eggs incubate in their nest, um, whether or not the temperature is warm or cold determines whether the eggs will hatch as a male or female. Lower temperatures causes more males and then a higher temperature means more females. Now once the eggs do hatch, that is the most dangerous time for these poor little guys because the adult tortoises do not have any natural predators besides humans. But hatchlings and juveniles have to look out for hawks and cats, dogs, even pigs, I think. So it's not always easy for them to grow up. Plus, the parents are not around to help them either. And unsurprisingly, because they live so long, they do not mature until at least 20 years old, but it's thought to be even longer than that. Now, I did mention humans are a predator of these guys, and because of that, every single species are considered at least vulnerable, if not more in danger than that. However, there have been a lot of conservation efforts and the numbers are on the rise, so things are not totally bad for them. Hopefully this will continue to be the case because I actually have seen these guys in real life and they are really pretty and really cool. But with that, this habitat is just about done. I just need to put some fishing touches and then we can tame them. Whoa. I've definitely placed these before, but I didn't realize how funny it looked when you hold them. Like this, you can see like the edge of it, but these... I was like, what's floating on my screen? And the way they move. Oh, it's so weird. That freaked me out a little bit. Alright. Alright, so I'm just putting on the last of our glass here. And I'm going to hang out on the inside for now. And that way I can just put some, some of the turtles in here. We have three, but I have a feeling that's going to be too cramped. So I'm going to try with just two first. Um, but we're going to have to put down our shulker box here for a second. Alright, so I know one of those was a girl. I didn't check the other one, unfortunately. Um, but let's see. I'm also going to put our crafting table here as well. I'm going to get rid of these, don't you worry. Actually, this one I can get rid of now. Um, but yeah, I was only able to make... Well, I made six tortoise kibbles. Um, and we can make some more if we need to. We can make up to eight more. Um, but I don't want to make too many just in case because that way I don't know when we're going to need tortoise kibble in the future. Um, but yeah, so I got their tire swing up. I got a bit of water for them. Hopefully they won't drown. I'll keep an eye on it. Um, but yeah, so let's check this out. So you, okay, you're a male. So the other one's going to be a female, I think. Okay, so you took three, and then, Ooh, you bigger? Oh my gosh, you're twice the size. Wow, perfect. Okay, let's get rid of this. Alright. Yeah, I think they're tall enough that if they go in the water, they won't drown. This one might not even fit in this tiny pool. It's kind of unfortunate, but... I think it'll be okay. They really blend in with this too, so I think that's cool. And I know they don't really have a shelter, um, but this space is kind of small. So I don't know. I might have to figure something out. This is just a game after all, so I don't condone keeping animals in small spaces or not giving them everything they need. But for a playthrough in Minecraft, I think it's okay. Oh, look at them sleeping. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah, again, I didn't really do the background. I did over here a bit, and I think that looks kind of nice. Um, but I didn't do the whole thing yet. Um, it's just really tedious, and I lose interest in it pretty quickly, unfortunately. Um, I love the chiseling bits, but it really is a lot. He's going to dance for us a bit. That's cool. I didn't know turtles could move this fast. Yeah, that might be a problem with the chiseling bits. They might not know how to pathfind. Um, so unfortunately I might have to change this, but hopefully it won't be too bad and they won't get stuck spinning forever. Or they can just be the dancing turtles. But yeah, since this was such a small habitat and we already had the animals, um, and honestly, um, I found these trees right away, the palm trees, so that was really easy to get everything for them. Um, so I still have a bit of time that I want to spend in this episode. Um, so I think I might try to do a little bit of like, um stuff around the zoo um, that I've been putting off. 
Specifically, I want to continue working on our wall and our entrance area, because um, right now this is basically our tree farm. Um, so basically whenever I need a, a type of tree, I just come over here and chop some down and plant some new ones. Um, so that's why there's so many different types. I just kind of plant them and whatever I don't need at the moment, I kind of leave. Um, but now that we have chisel and bits, I can add way more detail to our entrance and try to figure out what we want to do. And I had talked about a while ago doing a chandelier type thing in the middle of this. And chisel and bits is going to make that really good. Um, I think I can make something that will look nice in here. So I want to try to work on that and then try to maybe... I want to find something that could be like a pillar or something on here. Because right now it's got the detail of the block itself, but it's just a big old flat wall. So I'm going to try to figure out what we can do to make this building and these walls more interesting. And I want to see if I can actually get most of it done so we can start getting some villager guests in here soon. Alright, so, like I said, I want to make quite a bit of progress on here, but I actually wanted to grow some more willow trees, so while I was waiting, I was kind of playing around with some stuff with chisel and bits. So I tried out this in the corner here. I've only done this one, and I tried out this log in this corner to see. It's a little bit textured and a little bit in from this so that it's not flat. Um, but I don't know if this color... I mean, I know it's the same wood, but... The color is a little bit kind of gross, um, so I don't know. Like it's kind of like a pukey green, um, but maybe it works. Um, possibly I'll try a different type of log, and maybe that will be better. Um, but this here I kind of like. Obviously most of the building is still pretty flat so far, um, and I want to try to curve this arch because now it's going to be possible. Um, but I just want to give you a quick update, see what you think. Uh, the only problem is from like back here it's much more difficult to tell that this is even like anything like you, it kind of still looks flat so i'm not sure we might have to add in another block type here still um, but i think if i put like this log i think if i put that all the way down it probably would stand out way too much and it probably wouldn't look good um, but i might try something similar at least i don't know so I still got to figure that stuff out. And then, as you might have noticed, this is a little bit different. Um, obviously, right now, it's nothing fancy. But this is kind of where I was thinking our little, like, pond, like, main entrance focus point's going to be. Um, so this is going to be, like, a fountain, maybe, with, like, a statue in the middle. Um, and then I figured I would make some sort of, like, little fence out of chisel and bits, um, like, around it once we finalize things. To kind of be like, oh, don't go in here type of thing. Um, obviously all my chests and stuff are in the way, but from the area of the main entrance it kind of looks like this, like that's how far away it's going to be. Um, but the statue might end up being taller than this, probably, um, but I'm hoping to keep it within this kind of area here. I think it'll be big enough. Um, but I still have to like design a statue, figure out blocks for it and everything, so that might take a bit of time. Um, but I did collect quite a bit of, like, willow logs, and we got some of the cobblestone uh, for the building. So I think what I want to do is kind of do, like, a time lapse. I want to try to build as much of, like, where the wall is, like, outline it, and try to get a lot of that stuff done. So we're going to try to do that next, I think. Well, as I'm sure you can tell, I actually managed to do some replay mod stuff here. And I'll say right now, this is nothing fancy or anything like super crazy here. But I did get a feel for how this works and what I might be able to do with it in the future. But I just thought I'd share just a little bit of what I did and how I tried stuff out with different angles and perspectives and everything. Unfortunately though, I do have to work on like the timings and stuff, it's a little bit hard to get a grasp on. So instead of it being like really sped up and like showing a lot of my build, it's just sort of like a short bit of what I built. So at the end, I'm going to show like the whole thing that I did um, while I was working on this. But for now, just enjoy the music with the rest of the time lapse.
Alright, so this is what it's looking like from afar. And I will say that the fountain area does look pretty small from here, but I think if we decorate a lot, it might look okay. And I still have a lot to do on the walls themselves, but I think it's going to have to be mostly off camera. But for now, that is going to be it for this episode. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye, everyone.